Hi, boys and girls. This is storyteller Will Horniak with some stories about the Tualatin River and simple things that you and I can do around our homes and schools to care for the river. I want to thank my sponsors today, the Tualatin Basin Partners for Clean Water, who for many years have inspired and educated us to be good caretakers of the Tualatin River. Uh, boys and girls, the Tualatin River, it's over 80 miles long and it passes through farmlands and fields and forests and hills and as it meanders all the way down to the Willamette River, it provides irrigation water for crops and farms and for nurseries. It provides drinking water for people too. But it also provides what we call habitat, a place to live for fish and for birds and for animals. Uh, all kinds of creatures live in the Tualatin River watershed. And you might say that the actions that we take upstream where we live in our houses uh, and our apartments and our schools, that has a big impact upon the quality of life downstream in the river itself. And this is a little story uh, about that. Um, and I think you'll enjoy it and hopefully it'll give you some ideas about simple things that you can do to care for our beautiful Tualatin River. It goes like so. Once upon a time, there was a big, tough, strong spider. He was big and tough because his daddy was a tarantula. His mother, was a black widow. <laughs> he was so big and so tough and so strong, they called him Itsy Bitsy. Just kind of as a joke, you know what I mean? Well, one day, Itsy Bitsy Spider and his best friend, who was called Daddy Long, um, Daddy Long, that, da yeah, you know him, right? Daddy Long Legs, yeah, yeah. Itsy Bitsy Spider and Daddy Long Legs, they were, they were kicking back. They were chilling. They were hanging out. And Daddy Longlegs, he said, Hey, Itsy Bitsy, how about me and you uh, climb up that water spout? And Itsy looked up and said, Oh, I don't know, Legs, that one's pretty steep. Hey, Itsy, we're spiders. We got eight legs. Come on, let's creep. Well, you probably heard this part of the story. Itsy Bitsy Spider and Daddy Longlegs, they crept up up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spiders out. You want to hear the real story? The sun didn't come out. The rain kept falling. They got washed down the gutter of the street. Woo! All the way down the storm drain. Woo! Push! And of course, the storm drains go to the creeks and the streams. And now, Itsy Bitsy and Daddy Longlegs, they were floating down this creek. Woo! Ah! Woo! And they crashed into the creek bank. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and they climbed out. Man, they were lost. So they started walking downstream to see if there was somebody to give them directions home. Well, they were looking high and they were looking low. They were looking here. They were looking there. They were looking everywhere, but they couldn't find anybody anywhere. And Daddy Longlegs said, hey, Itsy Bitsy, this is kind of weird, man. I mean, we're down, down here in the riparian zone. You know, the place where the creek flows and, and the land on either side. Why, we should be seeing some, some cutthroat trout jumping. We should be hearing some frogs croaking seeing some water skippers skipping, hearing some birds singing. I mean, where is everybody? And Itsy Bitsy said, man, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but hey, look at that. And they looked and they saw beneath a little fern frond, a little blue neon sign. And the sign said, the macro invertebrate cafe, where big bugs without backbones meet, greet, and eat. And Itsy said, let's check it out. So they opened up the door. And they walked inside where well, the place looked empty. But there, seated way in back at a table, staring into a half-empty glass, <clears throat> was an old mangy water beetle. Itsy Bitsy Spider walked over to the water beetle and he said, uh, Hey man, uh, sorry to bug you, but uh, me and my buddy here, we're, we're lost and we're looking for directions home, but where is everybody? And the water beetle said, you guys must be from upstream, huh? Haven't you heard? This whole downstream riparian neighborhood's going to pieces. And I'm the one to tell you, kid, I'm an indicator species. And Itsy said, you're an indicator species? I've heard a little bugs like you. Why, if a creek is healthy or if it's not, you guys are the first to know. And if it's not, you guys are the ones to go. That's right, kid. And let me tell you something. A couple weeks ago, caddisfly and stonefly, they flew. Yesterday, the water skippers all skipped town, and tomorrow, me and Dragonfly, we're bugging out of here, too. And you see, without us insects around for food, 
Well, that means frog and great blue heron and even steelhead trout. They're probably through here, too. And Itsy said, what's the problem, man? How come, how come you guys are all leaving your home? Follow me, kid. So Itsy Bitsy Spider, Daddy Longlegs and Water Beetle, they opened up the door. And they walked outside. Well, they walked upstream a little ways. They hadn't gone too far. And Water Beetle pointed and said, that's why we're leaving town, kid. You see, sticking out of the stream bank, there was one of those big storm drain pipes. Those are pipes, boys and girls, that carry water from our neighborhoods and from our schools upstream. It carries waters all the way down to the creeks. And coming out of that storm drain pipe, well, uh, the water beetle said, coming out of that storm drain pipe, you get oil and antifreeze and exhaust particles from cars, pesticides and fertilizers that rinse off people's lawns and yards. You mix that together with soap suds, cigarette butts, candy wrappers, and dog poo. You got a toxic brew. It's called storm water pollution. But it's not caused by us. It's those human beings. And they're the solution. And Itsy Bitsy said, Hey, Daddy Longlegs, that's the storm drain pipe we came down, man. All of this pollution downstream, it's being caused by those human beings upstream. Why, we got to get back there. They got to get hip to the drip. They got to get it into their head. We're all living here together in this watershed. Hey, that's right, Itsy. We're all living in this watershed. Hey, man, that rhymes. Get hip to the drip. Use your head. We're all living in a watershed. What's a watershed? It's the land that drains to a river or a creek or a lake when it rains. Oh, yeah. And all of that is habitat for salmon and steelhead and cutthroat trout. It's where the great blue heron beaver duck and frog and the turtles hang out so get hip to the drip and use your head because we're all living in a watershed <laughs> hey itsy that's really cool that's really fun but but hey itsy how are a couple little spiders like us gonna get the word out to those big human beings about what's going on here downstream and itsy said hey legs we're spiders man let's put it on the web yeah itsy the web. Well, that night, Itsy Bitsy Spider and Daddy Long Legs, when they got home, they got all their spider buddies together, and there were thousands of them. And that night, they went out, and they did what spiders do best. They, right, made webs. But they made pictures on the webs, too. And in the morning, when the human beings walked out their doors to go to work and to go to school, they looked up, and they were, <gasps> Oh, look at that. Look, wow, look at that. There were hundreds and hundreds of big spider webs. And every web had a different picture on it. There were pictures of pond turtle and pictures of wood duck. There were pictures of cutthroat trout, pictures of great blue heron and eagle and osprey and muskrat and beaver. And, and the human beings, they, they wandered from web to web to web because the webs led all the way down to the creek. And they saw that storm drain pipe, and above it was the biggest web of all. It was a picture of all the creatures, together. And above it, Itsy Bitsy, he had written, Get hip to the drip. Use your heads. We're all living here together in this watershed. Well, some of the people got the picture. And when they got back home, they started doing things a little differently upstream. And that made a big difference downstream. Just simple things, like they planted native plants in their yards that didn't need a lot of fertilizers and pesticides. They never put any litter on the street. When they walked their dogs, they picked up the dog poo with a plastic bag. They even started walking more and riding bikes more and driving cars less, because cars put a lot of pollution onto the street. And little by little by little, the storm drain pipe started to run Water that was cleaner, that was clearer, that was colder. Well, after a while, life came back to that little riparian neighborhood. Pretty soon, zzz, caddis fly, then zzz, stone fly. And water beetle and water skipper came back. And that provided food for cutthroat trout and steelhead trout and great blue heron and frog. And pretty soon, that whole area was filled with life again. And the way Itsy Bitsy tells it, 
it's a real nice neighborhood again. And my buddy, Daddy Longlegs, he's a big rap star now. Of course, he only does one song. Get hip to the drip, use your head. We're all living in a water shed. Yeah. Well, that's the story of Itsy Bitsy Spider and Daddy Longlegs and Water Beetle. But just to remember, where we live in the Twilight River watershed, there's lots and lots and lots of different creatures that live with us. Great blue herons, red-winged blackbirds, trout and fish and coyotes and muskrats and such. And the things that we do upstream around our neighborhoods and our homes and our schools make a big difference uh, on the quality of the rivers and the watershed downstream. Thanks so much for listening, everybody, and I really hope you enjoyed the story.